Hi, I'm Rose. I'm currently at the Newnham campus right now. Today is my early enrollment date, so I have today to like build my schedule and get my schedule um, ahead of time before the open enrollment date. Um, my early enrollment date opened at 8 a.m. today. I haven't like built my schedule yet. It's like 1 p.m. right now, so I'm gonna do it now. Um, I'm gonna be taking like a full course load, but I need help getting one of my courses, so I have to like email my student advisor about that. They're gonna take care of that, and then. Um, but I thought I would show you um, just like how to build a schedule. I think I've shown that before, but um, um, I wanted to show like the flexibility, like kind of like how like the options to different classes, like for if you're taking like a full full time load or like whatever part time load or whatever. Um, I'm just gonna be taking like three classes and then like I'm gonna need help with like the other class to get that um to enroll in that for my student advisor so I'm just gonna show you how to like or I'm gonna show you like the different options I guess the different times because like um people kind of ask me like oh what are the different times like for classes when do classes normally start um what days are they normally at so I just kind of wanted to show you I guess um what it kind of looks like so i'm already logged into blackboard and i'm on my seneca i'm already um on the student home site and then i'm already on the um, my classes so i'm just going to go to the left hand side it says build schedule i'm going to press that oh this is new it says welcome this software will help you find your optimal schedule select a term so this is new i guess they added it 2023 winter or 2023 summer so i'm going to be enrolling in the summer so i'm going to press that and then you have a recommendation plan assigned blocks. So this is kind of like a recommendation that they recommend, like like you could, I guess it's a planner. I don't know, I've never actually done it before, um, but I'm gonna press skip. So I have no courses selected. So um, I'm gonna go, so first of all, this is a visual schedule builder. This is where you build your schedule um, as a Seneca College student. It says the term that you're gonna be enrolling in for that schedule, 2023 summer. It says your name also. Um, and then over here, it says the different modes, I mean, instruction modes and campus. So with, like whichever campus you go to, you select. Um, I'm just gonna select Noonham. So I'm gonna check off all the other ones. I'm gonna press off campus too. Um, just in case if the classes are online and they're not, you know, and I'm going to leave others just because in case if it's like just online course. Um, and then there's instruction modes. You can select that. For me, I'm just going to leave it as all checked just in case of like my courses um, that I need to take are only offered in what whichever. So either way, I'll take them. So I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to press close close and then over here select course this is where you search for your course code so you need to like um you need to have your course codes ready so that you know which class it, classes that you need to like enroll in so um mine's on like i typed them out so i'm gonna go to my word so the first one i have is bmt 780 so i'm gonna type that in bmt 780 so it's contemporary issues and management sustainability. So I'm gonna click on that. And right away it shows there's a result of two. So there's two classes available. Well, actually, I don't know if it's available yet, but two classes. So um, tips, it just shows like personal, or let me see. I think I went over tips before in another video. Pinning, yeah, so these are just tips on how to use the, how to use the schedule, um, visual schedule, Builder. I'm just going to close that. So there's tips and then I don't know what the course legend is. Um, sort by, I guess, because you could also like, see, I'm going to press on this. We, like these, once it turns gray, like um, they know not to, like, if you have classes in that time, it won't show, I think. I think. And then close classes. So allow schedule results containing full classes only. Okay. I don't know um so yeah so basically all you really have to do is focus on the result of on the result so if there's classes available obviously this i never really do so i'm just gonna get rid of that so now my schedule is all white again i didn't put any close times because i mean i didn't put any times that i like require time off or i that i don't want classes to be at because i could do classes whenever um it kind of just depends on you some people like 
block in certain times like if they're only available like from 12 p.m onwards and they block in the morning part um so like the result of classes won't show in the morning times or whatever so i'm just going to unblock all of this so yeah so it says the course code right here it says the name of the course and then it says the times and um it says the lap so it says the first day of the class and the last day i think yeah, so it starts May 8th and then ends August 18th, and it says the time. So um, this class runs on Thursdays from 12.35 to 2.20 p.m. Um, it's hybrid, um, so I guess it's in-person and online. And then it says the campus, so Newnham campus. Um, so my program is BBM, so it just says for BBM students only. And then um, if the class is open and available, like their seats available in the class it'll say seats like under seats it'll say available if not it'll, it'll say closed um and then class number this is the class i think that's the cl class code um for this individual class and then the teacher's name i mean the professor's name and then um so that's only result one so um this class can fall on um thursdays from 12 35 to 2 20 p.m or if you press the arrow here, there's also another class at, um, let's see, 4.15 on Wednesdays to 6 p.m. So that's in the evening. So I could either do evening or um, like early, early afternoon. Um, for me, hmm, which one would I prefer? So if I do 4.15 to 6 p.m. or I could do 12.35 to 2.20 p.m. Honestly, either or. Um, let me just do. Hmm. So I'm gonna take the 12:35 to 2:20 p.m. But um, I mean, people ask me like, what are the different options for classes and classes time? So this course particular, um, BMT 780, so Contemporary Issues and Management Sustainability. There's only two options um, that I can take. So I'm gonna choose um, the Thursday one. Either or. I mean um i could do but i'm just going to choose the earlier time so i'm going to press get this schedule the blue button at the right hand right hand side bottom i'm going to press that and then under the action column it says enroll or add to cart i'm going to press enroll and then i'm going to press do actions at the very bottom the result so the result here it says um, added this class has been added to your schedule so that means that um, it means that I'm enrolled in this class now so um, click this button to view the latest state of your courses so I'm going to press return to select courses so I could select the other courses that I have to take this semester LSP 700 so I'm gonna press or let me go back to Safari. So I'm back under the select courses again. I'm going to press or I'm going to type an LSP 700. So this course is called Applied Research Methodology. Um, and the result is one of five. This means the result is also um, like it also coincides with the first one that you can do so that they don't overlap. Um, but there's only like three classes available. So there isn't like five classes for LSP 700. There's only three available, but there's a result of five just because um, this one has two options and then this one has three. Um, so for the first result, it could be Wednesdays 4.15 to 6.55 p.m. or it can be um, Thursdays 4.15 to 6.55 p.m. So maybe in the evening. And then the third option is having it at 8.55 to 11.35 a.m. Um, option for, oh, so there actually is another option to move, like, see, I already enrolled in, like, BMT 780. There's an option to move it if, like, once you add a second course in the um, Visual Schedule Builder, which um, I didn't know that it would move it, like, once I, because I already enrolled in that one. Oh, well, I'm still learning, too. Um, so there's this option, um, and then let me see, option 5 is Thursdays from 8.55 a.m. to 11.35 a.m., um, so hmm, let me go back to option 1 first of all. 
Um, so for this class, I can either have it starting at 4.15 or I can have it um, at 8.55 a.m. For me, I'm not really a morning person, so I am going to choose um, the first option with it being on Wednesday. I don't want to have it on the same day just because like when you have exams, I don't want it to be one after another. So I'm just going to put it on Wednesday. Um, but again, so I'm just going to go over it again. It says the term, so summer 2023, it says the first day, May 8th to August 18th. That's the term. That's like when, when the term first starts and then that's when the term ends. Um, it's going to be on Wednesdays from 4.15 to 6.55 p.m. This is the course code, class number, seats, it says available. And then for this class, it says um, that it's going to be taught in online. So online and also asynchronous, so by, like by yourself. It won't be like online at um, 4.15 to 6.55 p.m. You'll just have like to do stuff like um, on your own. And then it also says the professor. Um, and then for this one, um, see the first one, it says um, BBM students only. For this one, um, it says applied research. So this class um, has the following prerequisites. So the following prerequisites are ENG 105 or ENG 106. And then it also says this class section is only available to students in the BBM program, um, BHRM or BMI program. So there's three programs that this um, LSP 700 class, um, like which type of students or which type of programs like um, can also do this class. So the first one was only for BBM students, so only my program. Um, but this class um, is open to um, three different programs, so BBM, BHRM, or BMI program students. So because I am going to get this um, class and I want it on Wednesdays, I'm going to press it again. There's a little pin and then I'm going to go to the bottom. I'm going to press get the schedule again. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do the same thing as I did for the first one. So for actions, I'm going to do enroll, press that, press do actions. And then the result is loading. It says added. This class has been added to your schedule. So that's good. And then I'm going to press return to select courses to select um, my last course. I think that I have to do on my own. Um, so it's going to be WTP 200. Okay, so my last class that I have to enroll in is WTP 200. So I'm going to type that in. It's the work term preparation class. Um, it's for, because I'm going to be doing co-op in the fall. Um, so for this, it's, um, let me just check. So I'm going to do LAC BBM because I'm in the BBM program. And then I'm going to press show to... I'm going to click LEC BBM because I'm in the BBM program. And then, um, so again, WTP 200, um, it says the correct term. So double check that. It also says it's at Newnham campus. It's going to be offered online and asynchronous. So online and then by myself. It doesn't, it says staff here because I'm guessing they don't have a professor as of yet for this class. Um, I'm also guessing that's why under seats it says unscheduled. Um, but it also says available so i can enroll in this um but i'm not too sure like what unscheduled means um but i'm guessing because they don't have a staff yet um but i am going to enroll in this class because i do need it um so it also it has no scheduled times so i'm guessing just because they don't have a professor but it also says it there like a little information note um but i am going to enroll in this class so i'm going to go to the very bottom I'm just gonna shift you over so I can see. I'm going to press get this schedule. And then shift you over a little bit more. I'm gonna press enroll and then do actions. And then it says added. This class has been added to your schedule. And that was the last class that I needed to add um, for my schedule. Um, I'm waiting for my student advisor to add like my last class because um, I'm unable to add that one on my own. I already tried. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you like the different times that uh, you could have for your classes, like possible times. Um, the classes are generally, for me, they're generally like two hours, so 12.30 to 2.20, it's like two hours basically. Um, people normally ask me like how long our class is, so I kind of wanted to show you that. And then I also wanted to show you how to like enroll and get a schedule. I showed you how to enroll. Um, and then I also wanted to show you the different times that you could that you could possibly have in your schedule and like show you the different days that you could also have them or just an example really.
Um, so I hope that kind of helped. I get kind of questions on that, like how long are classes? Um, how do you see like if classes are hybrid or how do you see if it's online? It just like shows it right here and also right there. And then also how do you see if like which campus it is? Um, how do you see if like seats are available? Um, how do you see what times it's gonna be? So I've shown you how to check and then how to like like read this visual schedule builder. I'm also learning how to use visual schedule builder, so I'm not like a pro at it, but I know how to like enroll in everything. I can kind of like, um, like if I'm on it, I can kind of like guess what certain things mean, like unscheduled in the brackets. I don't really know what that means, but I kind of like, you know, guessed. Um, so yeah, that's all for me. I'm going to log out. So I'm gonna press the hamburger and then sign up. I guess I'll see you guys in another video.